Naam, barabara kabisa mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga ya Boss umewadia ule muda wa kuweza kukuhabarisha, kukuelimisha na kukujuza yote yaliyoweza kujiri siku ya leo. Jina langu ni Ridwan Juma na mtangazaji mwenzangu kwa lugha ya ishara ni Felix Oteno. Karibu kwenye habari za Boss. Saa moja. Tukianza ni kwamba wadau wa sekta ya utalii kwa ushirikiano na serikali ya kaunti ya Mombasa wameandaa hafla ya maonyesho mbalimbali ya vyakula katika hali ya kuimea utalii na uchumi nchini. Wakati huo huo wafanyikazi sita kutoka sekta mbalimbali hapa pwani watazawadiwa Jumatatu kwa kushiriki kwenye mafunzo ya kutoa huduma bora kwa wageni. Sekta hiyo pia imekumbwa na changamoto tangu kuingia kwa corona nchini mnamo mwezi Machi mwaka mbili na ishirini. Tuweze kupata taarifa hii kama alivyotuandalia mwanahabari wetu. Mombasa ni mojawapo ya maeneo yanayosifika kwa chakula kitamu kwa tulimwenguni. Hii ikiwa mojawapo ya sababu kwa nini sehemu hii inavutia watalii. Sekta ya utalii kwa ushirikiano na kaunti ya Mombasa imeandaa shughuli ya mankuli kutoka kwa wapishi mbali mbali itakayofanyika katika bustani ya Mamangina ili kuadhimisha siku ya utalii kwa tulimwenguni Jumatatu hii ijayo. Uh, food is actually uh, a big part of our culture here in Mombasa and and we want to keep that conversation alive and and this being also one of the major uh, tourism attraction uh, when we look at our products and services uh, this will also be an opportunity for people not only those living in Mombasa but nationally to come and sample uh, our cuisine kana na lalama kuhusu utoaji wa huduma kwa wageni wanapowasili hotelini sekta hiyo imejizatiti na kutoa mafunzo katika vitengo mbali mbali vya wafanyikazi i also just want to say it is kcta uh, kenya coast tourism association that has arranged for the training of uh, 600 beach operators uh, because we know business is going to come back wakati wa hafla hiyo inayoanza kesho Shughuli ya upimwaji joto na kanuni zote za Wizara ya Afya zimetakiwa kufuatwa kikamilifu. As you come in through those two gates, two, two entries. There are going to be health officers at the entrance to make sure that everyone who is getting in have their masks on, they sanitize and we'll have health officers around the ground to make sure that each and every person is adhering to covid protocols. We open hotels and food eateries around the county and around the country and we expect similarly the way people observe regulations when they go to the uh, restaurants and uh, cafes and coffee shops is the same thing that will happen here on the ground tomorrow. Aidha wale watakaohudhuria hafla hiyo kesho na Jumapili wamepewa nafasi ya kuchanjwa iwapo hawajapokea chanjo ya aina yoyote. The low season we call it low season for health department because the positivity rate has gone down. That does not mean that we are out of the woods. That's why tomorrow and Sunday we are taking advantage of this opportunity to vaccinate people in this ground. We are targeting those who will be coming here to sample the, uh, the, the dishes that will be sold here tomorrow and Sunday to vaccinate. So far we've done um, around uh, 30,000 full, full doses for AstraZeneca and uh, the first dose for Moderna is at around 8,000. We are not badly off. But we are still advocating to our citizens to come out. It's through vaccination of all the citizens that we'll say Mombasa is safe for uh, to open up fully like it used to be uh, earlier on. Kaulimbiu ya siku ya utalii ulimwenguni mwaka huu ni kujenga amani, kukuza maarifa. Bright Mwandodo Boss TV. Nam, na tukitoka eneo hilo ama tukiachana na habari ya utalii ni kwamba serikali ya taifa imebuni sheria tofauti itakayoimarisha sekta ya uzalishaji na kuinua mapato ya bidhaa zitakazotengenezwa humo nchini. Waziri wa Biashara na Viwanda Beti Maina amesema miongoni mwa sheria zilizobuniwa ni kuinua biashara ya magari kupitia mbinu ya nunua Kenya jenga Kenya. Mwanahabari wetu Charles Mondi na upana wa taarifa hii. Sekta ya biashara mapema mwaka 2018 iliunda mswada wa kutengeneza na kuinua bidhaa zinazotengenezwa humu nchini kama njia moja ya kuimarisha sekta hii pamoja na kujenga uzalishaji hata baada ya kubainika kwamba hatua hii huenda ikaongeza bei ya uzalishaji.
mbinu ya nunua Kenya jenga Kenya ilibuniwa yapata miaka sita sasa lakini utekelezaji wake unaendeshwa kwa mwendo wa kinyonga licha ya hali hii kutarajiwa kuinua uchumi wa taifa kupitia hatua ya kuimarisha huduma na biashara rejareja reja za humu nchini Waziri wa Biashara na Viwanda Beti Maina katika ziara yake ya kuangazia kuimarika kwa viwanda na kampuni tofauti katika kaunti ya Mombasa na Kilifi, waziri huyo amewataka wawekezaji kutumia fursa hiyo kupitia nguvu za uchumi miokoani kujiendeleza na kubuni ajira kwa Wakenya. But we have prioritized within uh, the manufacturing uh, big four agenda. And the reason for doing that is twofold. One, it creates jobs. Today we have seen more than 500 people at work in this one, uh, one factory. I'm extremely proud of the fact that many of them are girls. And I know the last time I was here they made me dance Jerusalem, so hopefully <laughs> they won't do that uh, today. But with possibilities of growth, with the investments that are being made, we can employ more people. But one of the things that I'm also very proud of is the type of products we are making. This company started making you know, normal uh, medical consumables, blood collection samples, syringes, and you know, similar, similar stuff. But just in the past year, we have seen innovation. Taasisi za kiufundi nchini imekuwa ikitoa mafunzo ya uzalishaji kwa kutumia ubunifu wa miradi na uimarisha wanafunzi na akili ya biashara na hudumu aidha katika ziara hiyo waziri beti ametoa magari 1600 zitakazosambazwa katika kila kituo kinachotoa mafunzo ya uzalishaji Sometimes the machines that they've been using in their training institution is not what the companies are using so they go through further uh, training but we've also seen a collaboration between Tivet institutions and businesses where they even offer training, uh, training opportunities uh, for the students that come out of Tivet. And that partnership will help us increase the pool of trained workers uh, in, in, you know, in, in Kenya. So I think for the rest of us in the country, we need to applaud the decisions that the president has made. Uh, through his different uh, pronouncement, the directives given to us as the CSS as we work on ensuring that we can slowly by slowly increase the foothold of manufacturing uh, in Kenya and what I'm excited about is that these companies are innovating and they are going into high value, uh, high value products which can only be good for the country. <laughs> So once it's approved by QA, yeah. after Charles Omondi, Boss TV. What we are witnessing, and the turnaround we are witnessing in uh, factories such as AVA gives us confidence. Nam, na tukiendelea ni kwamba mtala mpya wa CBC umezidi kumbwa mkono na baadhi ya walimu eneo bunge la jomfu, licha ya baadhi ya washikada wa walimu kupinga na kwenda kotini. Akiongea na runinga yetu mwalimu mkuu wa shule ya msingi ya Meritini bi Bana amesema kwamba mtaala huu unapiana nafasi kwa wanafunzi kufanya mazoezi ya kitu walichokisomea. Tuweze kupata moja na wake. CBC ni jambo zuri sana ambalo lime, limekuja kwa sisi walimu tunafurahia manake mimi kufundisha mtoto nafundisha kwa furaha na mtoto anasoma kwa furaha kwa vile yeye mtoto anafanya kila kitu yeye mwenyewe mwalimu nitapea maagizo mtoto atafanya atashika atafanya akitumia akili yake mikono yake na ni kitu ambacho haizi sahau si kama vile nilikuwa nafundisha kitambo mimi nitaingia ni lecture alafu mwalimu mtoto afanye na ikawa ni changamoto kuwa kuna hiyo targets minisco mwalimu ana stress mimi nitapata mini score vipi kama head teacher mimi namshikilia mwalimu nataka mini score na ni mtoto ndo anasoma nakuta mtoto pia na yeye mwenyewe anasoma akiwa na machungu lakini sasa hivi tunafurahia CBC it is the way to go wale wenye kukashifu ni kweli hawajajua 
na pengine tutahamasisha wazazi manake mambo mengi watoto wanajifunza ni mambo yale ambayo wanafanya nyumbani na mitaani kwa hivyo CBC ni nzuri kwa walimu na hata kwa wanafunzi pengine kwa wazazi kwa vile wana kazi nyingi na ni jukumu ni wawajibike tu waipende waembere Naam na tukisalia katika shule hii ni kwamba mwakilishi wadi wa eneo la Mikindani Juma Renson Toya ameomba waisani na wadau wa elimu kuweza kujitokeza na kusaidia madawati pamoja na mahitaji muhimu. Shule hii yenye wanafunzi 2130 inakumbwa na uhaba wa madawati pamoja na madarasa ya kusomea. Ani. Lakini siku hii ya leo tumeweza kuitikia wito wa changamoto ambazo zinakumba shule hii ya uh, Meritini World Bank Primary School. Shule hii inakumbwa na changamoto ya madawati. Inasikitika kwamba katika century ama wakati huu ambao tunakaa we are in the modern world. It is very sad kwamba kuna watoto bado katika shule hii wanakaa chini. Hili ni jambo la aibu ambalo linapaswa kila mmoja aweze kuliangazia ni lazima sisi sote washikadau ambao tunapenda elimu tuungane pamoja mimi leo nimekuja hapa nimeleta mkono wa madawati 15 nasema hao madawati 15 ni tone la mafuta katika bahari kuna hitajika madawati mengi na yule mkenya yote anainisikiza ajitokeze kuanzia kesho Miritini World Bank kuna shida na tunahitaji madawati mengi ipasavyo ili watoto waweze kukaa. Mnavojua kuna ile ile kwamba kila mtoto lazima aende skuli hata kaa. Kwa hivyo hii shule imepokea watoto wengi na ni lazima wahisani na serikali kama wananisikiza vilivyo. Wajue kwamba wale watoto wameambiwa wamewatoa mtaani wamekuja hapa inasikitika watoto wamekuja lakini madawati haku hakuna na hilo walisikia walimu hawawezi kubali kukataa kupokea mtoto lakini pia waelewe wale ambao wamesema watoto lazima wasome watoto watasoma wakiwa wamekaa kwa madawati hawatasoma wakikaa chini na huo wakati umepitwa zaidi ya yote kuna changamoto ya school uniform na, na tukimalizia na habari ambazo zimejiri hivi punde ni kuhusiana na swala la mashujaa sherehe hizi za mashujaa ambapo serikali ya kitaifa imesitisha sherehe za mashujaa katika kaunti zote 46 isipokuwa ile ya Kirinyaga ambayo sherehe hiyo inatarajiwa kufanyika tarehe 20 mwezi ujao sherehe sawia na hiyo kwa kawaida usimamiwa na kamishna wa kaunti kwa ushirikiano na serikali za kaunti ila kufuatia amri kutoka kwa katibu wa kudumu katika wizara ya usalama wa ndani daktari Karanja Kibicho Sherehe hiyo haifanyiki mashinani kufuatia taratibu ya kuzuia msambao wa virusi vya corona. Aidha katika uamuzi huo wa Kenya umetakiwa kutahadhari na mikusanyiko ya watu baada ya Wizara ya Afya kutoa onyo la kuongezeka kwa virusi hivyo. Na taarifa hiyo na tufungia habari zetu lakini kumbuka utaipata kwa kamilifu mwendo wa saa tatu usiku na mwanabari wetu Shadrack Ogega. Uh, kwa majina anaitwa Ridhon Juma nimekuwa msomaji wako na mtazama, um, msomaji mwenzangu ama mtangazaji mwenzangu kwa lugha ya ishara ni Felix Otieno uwe na wakati mwema